let us start our discussion with an example suppose we want to construct a recognizer which can classify a student either in boys or girls class we want to make a classifier that can classify a student of a class either in the category of boys or in the category of girls what we need we need some feature that that is able to separate boys from girls for instance we take weights of various students to use as a feature for separation purpose have some examples of boys having weights 41 kg 45 kg 42 50 48 38 similarly we have a, some examples from girls class and uh, these weights are corresponding weights are 37 39 41 32 31 so here we have taken examples six examples of boys these are the weights in kilograms weights in kilograms some examples from boys class some examples from girls on the basis of this classifier we want to classify unknown data into one of the class okay so this is for representing one student we have only one number one number is representing one student so let us draw these points on a line so we have drawn all the six examples of girls on the line six examples of boys on the line and we can see that uh, the range of girl student is from this point to this point and range of boy student from this point to this point we can easily see that there is some reason that is overlapping in both the categories the overlapping reason in both the classes so we can easily see that if we take one point one data for to represent a student this single point single data is not sufficient to represent a student now let us take one more feature and that feature is suppose height and uh, now we will represent each student from two numbers the weight and height combination so the examples from boys 41 140 145 this data belongs to first student we have taken 45 149 3 143 now we can see that now to represent one student we are using two number one number is height second number is one number is weight and second is height now we have to draw these points in a two dimensional space because we have two numbers to represent one student so this is a 2d space and here if we draw all the students so 41 145 okay for example these circles are denoting girls six girls and these crosses are denoting boys now we can see that the overlapping reason is reduced features as we increase the number of features we can improve the performance of the classifier here this space in which representing an object as a point is called feature space feature space and these are called data points and 
these are sir class reasons class reasons okay coming back to our discussion let us properly define the pattern recognition pattern recognition is a process which enables classification of an object using characteristics extracted from the object which can classify an object into one of the category into one of the category one of the categories on the basis of characteristics or features or features extracted from the object steps of pattern recognition system first is sensing sensing is the very first step of pattern recognition system in this step we capture the signal from the object which we want to classify into one of the classes which are predefined the second step is segmentation it is done to extract the information of our interest from the captured signal to extract the information of our interest from the captured signal from the captured for example if we capture an image of a face then there may be other details which have to be removed for example background feature extraction is very important step and this is obvious question which feature to select like in previous example we have taken like in the example of students we have selected weight and height as two features to make classifier important property is that feature values should be very similar for the objects belong to the same class feature value whatever feature we select the feature value feature value of an object belonging to same class should be very close to each other know that weights of our voice 
we know that weights of all boys are very close to each other and similarly the heights of all boys are also very similar to each other and this should follow another property the feature value of the objects should be very far from each other which belong to different classes For example, if we select number of eyes, as feature, so this will not work because number of eyes are always two, it, whether it is boy or it is girl. So number of eyes is not a good feature, it should not be selected. We should select a feature which has same value in the same class and which have different value in the different class. Step is designing the classifier. Design of classifier. Design of classifier belongs to the process. Belongs to the process which creates class reasons or boundaries between classes. In our example, we have taken some examples from boys and from girls. Now we can easily see that we can find a line between these two types of samples and this line will act as a boundary. So the process of finding the equation of this line is called design of classifier. So in design of classifier we can find the equation of line or equation of hyperplane. In the next important step is the classification. Classification is assigning an unknown data point unknown data point one of the predefined classes one of the predefined class levels Here in this example we can see that this line is separating two types of classes, two types of data samples. Now suppose we have some unknown data and the numbers corresponding to this unknown data is 35, 1, 32. Obviously this point will belong to this side of line and we assign level of girls class to this data point. And if data point, unknown data point has this value,
obviously we can see that this point is belonging to this side of the line and we will assign this class a level of boy this point will be assigned level of girl this point will assign the level of boy this process is called classification here we end the discussion and in the next lecture we will discuss the learning process and the types of learning also we will discuss the problem of dimensionality and solution to dimensionality problem thank you